present now I am going to request Abu Hanif to speak uh, on this subject, no more brain drain, what we can do, what, how we can utilize our skills, in what direction we can try. So those things he will elaborate today and I think he will also try to bring some you know, testimonial or testimony today to speak on his behalf. So I am not investing this Mr. Uh, Abu Hanif. Today's topic is Build Up IT Career in Corporate America, No More Brain Drain. My key note is in the ABC Convention uh, Magazine, 49 days. If you have it, you can. 49 days. Also, there are some papers available. Um, I will be reading some of them and also uh, matching with my practical task or responsibility for what I am doing. Basically, theory and practical Bangladesh, let's say 10 years, 15 years, 20 years of experience in the IT field. Finish their bachelor, master's or PhD, when they come here as an immigrant, what they do? Where they go first? They need to survive. When they come with their family, they need to survive first. When they try to send their resume in different places, they don't know which format they will be sending to, where they will be sending to. With which exact places they will be going to. So they start with our job, five dollars, seven dollars, ten dollars an hour job, so that they can survive, so that they can facilitate their family, support their family. After one year, after two years, after three years, they find themselves still there doing the odd job, ended up with our job. After three years when they see that someone is offering some courses or some opportunities, they don't want to invest there because they, by that time they lost their hope, they lost their confidence. Eventually ended up with our job. We want to say that there is still opportunities. Hope did not die, just is the direction, the direction that you will follow. Even though people have educational background from Bangladesh or some other places, but there are some specific things people need to know so that they can get the job. There are some specific things. And very easy way, there are opportunities available. So people and that is the innovator of showing the direction. When I came here with my bachelor in electrical electronic engineering. I tried to get a job in this corporate America and it was not possible because of the environment. The people that I was with, I saw that they were doing odd job. People are asking me to do odd job. Without that, I was not able to survive. Then I find myself, okay, yes, I have to go to college, university in here to do, to finish my education. And then maybe I can try. And this is what happened, exactly happened. I finished my master's in computer science with 4.0 GPA. And I still went to so many people to find a direction. Because if you know 
the theory, Java, C++, Visual Basic, networking, and all of that, that will not be giving you a job. That's the theory. So then I started getting the certification, Java J2E certification, Sun Solaris certification, and Microsoft certification, so many certifications. They still did not get job. One guy, he graduated five years ago, that time. And then he said, yes, definitely, I will be going with you. I will be following your direction. He opened a yellow taxi garage, spending hundreds, hundred thousand dollars. One day he closed it and he followed my step. He stayed with me two months. Within two months I helped him getting $85,000 job. It has started with one. Now it crossed the boundary of thousand people. It crossed the boundary of, it crossed the boundaries. It's not only Bangladesh now, in Pakistan, in all of, all ethnic people are using my tips, my direction. So, that is increasingly needed by millions of companies across almost all industries. Today, we live in an era defined as digital or information era, where we see rapidly evolving globalization of the technology. Technology is changing our lives from day-to-day -day households to cosmological exploration. It is, in fact, radically changing our surroundings and gradually transforming our mindset. Be it a company dealing with a space mission, aviation services, weaponry, or be it a financial telecom, or gaming, or marketing, or a media company, or be it a health service provider, or a pharmaceutical company. Everywhere, technology plays a significant role in boosting companies' profitability. An estimate shows that the global IT spending during 2012 would be around $780 billion. That would be increased to $1.2 trillion in 2015 in the USA. In the US job market, IT sector is within top 10 highly paid sector as can be seen from the following May 2011 estimate by Guru of Labor of Statistics of the U.S. Department of Labor. Uh, computer and Information System Managers, employment, 300,000 approximately, mean hourly rate, $60 an hour, and annual salary is $126,000 approximately. And software developers and system developers, 387,000, mean hourly rate is 48,000, Network and computer system, administrator 341,000 jobs, database administrator 108,000, and so on. On the other hand, Forbes magazine in its March 23rd, 2012 issue, revealed an asserting report that software quality assurance engineers jobs are the happiest jobs in America and an expert in this field typically makes between $85,000 to $100,000 in yearly salary and are the gatekeepers of releasing high quality software products. Now, what qualification does a person need to be a software quality assurance engineer? Nothing. <clears throat> Just basic knowledge of computer, some automation knowledge which needs two to three months and then some demonstration knowledge means if some people can communicate with other team members that's all and that is the reason you will see more than 1000 people I placed 
most of them are housewife, yellow taxi driver, restaurant worker, recently graduated people from different majors, graduated 10 years ago, lost their hopes, did not know where to go. So we ask them, you don't need to lost your hope. Just come, follow our direction, real-time project-oriented way. We are training so that whatever they will be doing in here, they will be doing at their own job. And most of the time, when one company hires one person, the company manager asks, do you know the same category of people, of your skill set? Do you know someone else? And in that way, we can place five, ten, more people in the same facility. In one company in Baltimore, Social Security Administration, 28 people, quality assurance engineers are working in the same facility. They are from People and Tech Institute of Information Technology, the institute that I formed. So 28 people are working in the same group. It happens just one guy, one person, got job, and then he referred another one, and another one, like that one. All over. USA, Canada, France, yesterday, one gentleman enrolled from Saudi Arabia. So our 9 o'clock, our class is 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. 9 o'clock means they are 4 p.m. So they will be like that one. So he just enrolled. So we just crossed the boundary. What is the hidden tricks? Because the tricks is whatever we teach in here, practical oriented training. Same thing, whatever they will be doing at their work, same thing they will be doing at project oriented way. And that's the concept we are keeping in our mind to implement Bangladesh so that thousands of people Millions of lakhs people graduated every year. Hundreds of thousands of people graduated every year from IT, engineering, technology, and other different measures also. But they don't know, they don't have jobs. Jobs are not available. So what we could do, we can use the same concept and establish the same thing in Bangladesh they can get job local. At least 10 to 15 people get our education and they are working in there, in the local market. They are making 70,000, 80,000 taka per month, even 100,000 taka per month uh, using our technology, our idea.